Yeah, and of course, you were lighter than me and I watched you move a lot, but let's say we're in a cage and for a moment we get stuck. Yeah. I'm gonna need you to get stuck with me just one second. Stuck? Yeah, like, like close. Oh, like clench up. Okay. Bang, 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 bang. That's what it was for. It's shoulder bump. Yeah, that's what it's it was for too. That's from boxing. And, and, and boom, also for the hips too. Boom, yeah, boom, boom. Boom, I get it here. Right. That's what it was for, Mike. That's it. To create an opening. Yes. Because look, I get in the shoulder bump. Hey! By the way, uh, I'm Mike. This is Sergio from Battle Combat Martial Arts. We were just, this was B roll for the other video. Apparently, the shoulder bump is the one inch punch. So I'm going to show real quick. Let me show. I'll show you three attacks I use from the shoulder bump using that same principle of in a short amount of space without cocking back. Just generating a little force and learning how to understand. This is also the same thing you use to it's bump a takedown. Energy. You go to bump a takedown. It's the same thing, right? So uh, we're moving around. Boom, boom. I get to this shoulder bump position. Now, I'm not going to... That's not going to work, right? No. Yeah. So boom. I get to here. Pop. Uppercut. Pop. Yeah. So, especially if they lean in big on me, I get to here, pop, uppercut, boom, pop, uppercut. That's one. Another one I use, uh, if they bury down on me and they push, they keep pushing into me and maybe he's too big, too strong, and I can't do much with him, I'll throw a hook without loading it. I'm just here and I'm just turning. Now, one of three things will happen. He'll pull his head all the way back and I'll miss. That's cool. But I do the shoulder bump. I miss. That's fine. He saw that and was like, oh shit. Right? Uh, so we've got uppercut hook. But if he bears down on me and I want to throw that hook and he keeps coming, then the hook just turns into this. All right? And now here I am in a short amount of space. And I use that same principle generate short strikes. Whereas if I cock back, he can block my bicep or block or whatever. So in a short amount of space, boom. Short space, bing. Short space, bing. One, one thing that you may be forgetting, because I know you're a really good at striker with the hands as well, is it's also to set up kicks. Set up kicks. Yeah. I usually, you could usually push Bump. and bang. Yeah. Or you're yeah, there. you create, it depends on the amount of space you create. Now, here's my third one. When I cannot move him. Maybe you can't move him. Root, uh, become, yeah, yeah. I'm, do your ancient kung fu rooting. Now I just... <laughs> Put them or people behind you. <laughs> right? So I can't move him. We always know if I can't move him, even though I'm so powerful, boom, boom, I can't move him, I can move myself. So if shoulder bump doesn't work, if I've not been practicing my one-inch punch that's not even a punch at all, right, mm -hmm. I'm going to pivot. Ooh. Right? So let's show from this side. Jab in. Boom. I know I, know I can't shoulder bump or you're pushing too hard. If you push really hard, I pivot. I get one step out of them, and this is what happens next. Boom, boom, shoulder bump in, pivot, hook. Again, from this way, boom, 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 shoulder bump. Hit me, hit me, you want in the ups. Pivot, boom. There we go. So that's three things from the shoulder bump, plus a bonus tip if you can create a lot of space. Sergio showed that, it was a left kick, right? Yeah, right? it all depends. Let's say you're here, bam, yeah. you get into the clinch, you bam, and then bra, to the left, or you could also, Oh, I, like to, I like to kick people in the leg when they're moving. Usually makes them cross and it hurts more. Yeah, as they're, especially if you get the one, wherever their weight's landing, generally is where you want to get. So let me run through these uh, one more time, Helm, please. So, jam and jam. In, pop, bang, mode. Do it on the sound. So, yes. I'm from Hard to Hurt. This is Sergio from Practical Combat Martial Arts. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Go check out his. I'll link him down below. Uh, he knows a lot about Kung Fu, but he's actually making it practical. Practical. Kung Fu was for self-defense, but the maximum expression of martial art is combat. Yep. So, fighting. If you throw a hook punch or, or a haymaker, I'm going to show a dim mac. Don't kill me. 